Hello all, we have another little question, a little lesson about how to record macros and where to put them. As always, I'm using Titan Simulator. Right now you see a little spoiler. Oh, it has ended now. The question is from the YouTube group, uh, from the Facebook group, how to make a macro, put it on a flash or add button swap or add button uh, so that it advances another queue list if you click it. So you want to put it on a button here where a queue is. This is what the guy explained to me. Um, he said he has a queue list running several effects and he has another button where he has another say a strobe queue and um, if he presses this he wants to flash the strobe or swap the strobe and at the same time advance the queue list by one queue. So this is a question. This is what I made. So in short, you have a standard queue list. Actually, I didn't put anything in there, just a couple of queues. Um, and you see how it advances either the here or there because it's connected right now. I made a little macro for this. If I click it, I can advance through the queue list. Then I have some fixtures, Robin 1000. I have made one dimmer queue, which brings up the dimmer. I have one queue where you can um, strobe them momentarily and if you release it uh, the strobe ends and finally i made a queue list here and if i press it's a queue list i have changed the key profile to flash and if i press it it flashes the strobe and it advances the queue list right now we are on 10 and i press again and now we are on 11 and it had strobed and it had finished and the same right now it started over again at one and now i want to show it how i made it as always we start with a new show let's hope everything works as expected we patch a couple of fixtures, patch fixtures. Let's do the, take the same one, whatever you want. So, but I use Roby, then I use the LED stuff, uh, Robin 1000 LED or something, Robin 1000 or 100, oh yeah, 1000 LED. Let's take this one. Uh, first mode, just some here. That's it. Okay. This was the first thing, exit patch, go to, we can stay there, it doesn't really matter. So, open the uh, visualizer. I, this time I make it a little bit different. I shrink it here. Let's put it there. Okay. And we open the visualizer, capture visualizer. Put it like here. Okay. And now we have enough room for our queue list once we have it here. Okay. First things first, let's select the fixtures, locate them. Ah, it works, okay. Now we go to demo 100%. We record, we change the record mode to channel and record our first demo queue recorded here. The um, Q9, so handle number nine, Q number one. Okay, clear, bring this up. Okay, let's have a look there. Only to check, it's only the dimmer value, this is correct. Next one, we select our fixtures again. We set them to some strobe value, say random strobe, 30 or 40%, like so. 
and record this again as a queue. Record, record more channel, put it there. Clear, change the options to release and set the release mask to um, include this one, intensity, exit, clear, um, exit again, um, select fixtures, set them to open again. You remember, strobe is an LTP channel, that's why it kept strobing even after we had pressed clear. Let's have a look. We press clear again. Now we start over, so we bring up the dimmer. Now we press flash, it strobes. We release flash, now it, re it releases, so we have a momentary release strobe button there. Of course, you could even put it all together into one queue. It's up to you. Okay, so this was the first thing. Next thing, of course, you could put this into the, any button there or whatever, in the playback buttons or the executors or whatever. It's completely up to you. I just um, make it here to show it to you. Next thing is we need our queue list with all the effects in there. Uh, so we record, record, record a queue list which goes here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and so on and so on. So we put a lot of effects in there and um, this is our effect queue list. Whatever you put in there. Now we need another macro to uh, advance this queue list. Let's record a macro. A macro cannot be recorded onto blue or gray buttons, but you can record them into any um, touch button up there. So we go to macro record. Um, we record it here. Now the macro button flashes. And our macro should contain those key presses, which is we have to connect to the queue list. We uh, want to press next step. And this is what we want to do. So let's do queue connect our queue list and next step. And this is our queue. That's why we press macro again, which flashes, and now it ends flashing, and we have our advanced the queue list macro. Just try it out. Um, every time I press it, it will advance the queue list by one. So right now we are on queue number two, and I press the macro. Now we are on queue number three, on queue number four, queue number five, and so on and so forth. Now the final question is how to mix everything into one button there. And I use another queue list for this, which goes like this. Record, record a queue list and record it here. And record just one queue in there. So I click just once there. Exit the record menu, open the queue list. And now in our one and only queue, we want to do auto load. It should load this queue. Remember, I mentioned you could put this queue onto any other playback or wherever you want to put it. So we click into the auto load um, column and click there. So we have load queue two as auto load. And we click into the macro cell and click on our macro number one. Now we have our macro number one there. Exit. Now everything, uh, all we need to do is we need to change this to flash because stop and go doesn't make any sense. So we want to change the uh, key profile. Go to options, click on the blue button, go to handle, go to key profile, add a new key profile, 
and whatever the name might be, QList number four, I want to use it blue key as flash button. Exit and exit again and exit again. Now we don't need it anymore. It's flash and now we also need to set this to release. I could have done this in the options. Here again, now we go to release, go to release mask, go to mask source, go to intensity include, and that's it again. And now we can already try, I guess. I can flash this and it strobes. And you see it does exactly what, what uh, Rob wanted to do. So it flashes our moving loads and at the same time it advances the queue list. So this is how it's done. Yeah, so the main thing is you use a queue list for this, which does two things at the same time, which is auto load our stroke queue and load our macro. And then all I changed is um, the options to um, flash and to release and that's it. So of course you can change some details, but this is what how I would do that. Have fun and good evening.